Hey everybody, today we've got some really fun tasks to take care of. This is part two of our electrical upgrade for boondocking in a vintage trailer. Now vintage trailers aren't just for show. Vintage trailers are to have fun with. They're really light to pull. They attract a lot of attention, which is really kind of fun. And they're just, they got style to them, as opposed to a lot of today's more plastic fiberglass trailers. And so really, it's not just to, to have one to, to let people see how cool it is. It's important to use it. We love using things. And so we're going to take our vintage 1965 Scotsman, and we're going to finish the electrical. Today, we're going to see if we can't put all the fuse box stuff in, which is really important. And also, we're going to get power from the plug. Now, the plug is in the back of your truck, and you put the plug in there. And if you kind of mess with the fuses in your car up in the front, you can make sure the power comes through the plug so that you can charge your batteries while you're driving. That way we'll have three ways to charge our trailer. We can uh, charge it with the car as we're driving. We can charge it with solar, or we can charge it with shore power from the driveway or from the house while we're loading up to get going. That way we can extend the time that we spend out off grid disperse camping, boondocking, whatever you want to call it, because we're really starting to enjoy that an awful lot. So why don't you just kind of watch, come with us and watch what we do, and I'll explain it as we go. All right, we're going to open up the bed, because under the bed is where we keep a lot of our storage, and also our two marine um, long-term batteries. And so we're going to lift this up, and we lifted the bed up about a foot to give ourselves more storage. So that's just part of the deal here. So I've got a handle and hook it up. I'm going to hook it up with bungee cord. And underneath, we have our heater and all of our other stuff. So that's kind of how that works. So I want to show you a little before and after here. We've got the bus bars, positive and negative. And we have the two marine deep cycle batteries. And that's all hooked up. We have the uh, solar charging all hooked up. And we have, the, um, we have the diesel heater all hooked up. We have the shore power charger here ready to go. And uh, this is what it looks like beforehand. So we're going to work on getting power from the car to give us power while we're to charge the batteries while we're driving and also um, working on the fuse box and uh, that'll keep us busy for a while so I'm going to put on a simple kill switch to the main positive wire coming out of the batteries and what that does is when we're totally done with everything you turn it off and that keeps little trickle things and everything else from draining the battery while you're gone. So it's a good idea to have the batteries totally disconnected when you're gone. So the best thing to do is have a kill switch. Okay, here's the positive bus bar and the negative bus bar. The fuse box, which I just put in, and I'm gonna be attaching a lot of things to it. This is the kill switch, which uh, completely turns the battery power off. And this is the big 250 watt amp that keeps us safe. So it's got it connected here to the batteries and I'm just tightening that up and then we're gonna go have lunch. And now I am wiring the uh, plug that goes into the truck from the trailer and I'm wiring it to receive power so that I can charge the batteries. This is what you call a seven pin plug and I'm putting that on, it's a brand new one. And I used to have what's called a four pin plug, which is uh, right here. And I cut that off and I'm putting on the seven pin plug, rewiring it and soldering it in for a good connection. And then I'm wiring a, uh, a live wire back to the charger of the uh, batteries in the back. This is my wiring chart, seven blade car side, seven blade trailer side. I'm now wiring up the switch with which I can choose which charging method I'm using, whether it's solar or the trailer hitch going back to the car 
or the uh, shore power. That way uh, it won't bleed into each other. So it'll, the system will know exactly what it's getting. Okay, I'm pretty much finished with the, the main board here. And I rehooked up the heater. So the diesel heater is all reconnected. And then I'm starting the 12 volt system up here by having one one circuit for uh, my wife and one circuit for me and it comes down here and I'll be covering that up goes behind down through here and up across the top of the air conditioner and out and around and I'll be putting that into the circuit board when I'm finished and that'll be it for today. So I got the fuse box all wired up for the circuits here in the top area. And they are hot. I'll show you that. Connect red to red. And then check the multimeter 12.95 volts got power on both sides and uh, next time I'm going to put in the lights the cigarette lighter plugs and all that stuff and be ready to go finished a lot today